said I was going to work on the race car if I got all my work done. And I just barely got all my work done. It's 6.30 at night and I actually technically have one more customer still coming, so... <sighs> no race car today. Also, did you guys see all that rain? Ridiculous. It's still dumping right outside right now. And my car is soaked. I had to put cardboard over the top of it again. Until I get a sunroof plug, I got no other way to really cover it. Maybe I'll get a bag and some tape or something. Everything else seals up, just took my sunroof out because I don't want that heavy glass in there, so I have to get a lighter fill piece for the sunroof plug. But I thought, since I was sitting here in the meantime, I'd go ahead and pull like the data off the uh, computer out there and um, just kind of take a look at it and get familiar with um, my car setup. There's a lot of stuff I can manipulate in the software to really set this car up to go fast and um, maybe something people don't realize behind the scenes of a really really fast car is typically somebody really really crunching numbers and data in the background. Um, yes the car has to make power, yeah you gotta drive good and um, obviously there's a lot to the physical part of driving, the driver has to be good, that, that's a thing, but the driver needs to get up and be able to do his job but the information that the car is running off needs to be right too, or it's not going to go very good at all. So, um, my job as a tuner and, and you know, trying to think about my own race program going forward is I just want to uh, make sure I have all the data in front of me in a way that's like real usable and clean. Like, for example, I might want to see if my clutch is slipping immediately and know, like if I felt like a weird power loss while driving. Um, and I need to see like RPM over input shaft speed. The input shaft is directly connected with a gear to the drive shaft. So if it's not matching up and going up incrementally with RPM, I know that there's a slip between the clutch. So I can tell immediately. And it's setting up stuff like that in the log template so that I can get in and look at a tab setup that just says clutch health. Or a tab setup that has all my high and low temperature compensations. Um, not temperature compensations, but like overall temperatures, make sure I'm not getting too hot. Um, anything that I might need, to be able, might need to be able to reference quickly between like rounds, we get 30 minutes. I have to like sometimes rotate the tires, sometimes fill up the gas. I have to charge the battery because this car has no alternator in it. So, um, I mean, I gotta wipe the window down. Anything that needs to be done or switch or change has to be done. The parachute has to get packed and put back in. And I have to be able to, in probably 10 minutes, pull the log data out of the car and interpolate it. Like, I mean, really look through and catch any problems the car is having, make sure we're healthy enough to make another pass, and see if there's anything I can optimize so that I can win the next round. Typically, every round going forward is with a faster car, so if I'm not working on making this car progressively faster, then, you know, I might not win the next round. So. That's kind of what I'm working on today, even though that's not like super exciting, just staring at this computer screen and, and laying different data over each other so I can really get a feel for what's happening in the car <clears throat> and familiarize myself with that layout so I can quickly see the data. That's going to help the race program on race day. It's kind of like you see the pit crew guys changing the tires, zip, 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 and they like practice their organization. I'm practicing my log reading organization because if I don't do this now, when I get to the track and I'm flustered because I'm thinking about racing and a million other things, I'm not going to be able to click through my tabs and quickly go, good, 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 fix, change, here's my problem, okay, look at the data, how can I fix that data back in the car and go make another pass. So maybe you guys didn't know that there's that much involved in just a drag car, but there is, and um, I've always been really cavalier with this situation and just kind of took it you know, I'd make a pass, make a few adjustments, and just let it ride, you know, send it. But, uh, I don't want to do that anymore. I want to, like, know systematically, like, what my car is doing. I want the launch RPM to be similar. I want to see where my shift points are. I want to sh shift off the light indicator every single time so that I can see if the car is changing or the driver is changing. And that way I can start narrowing down the data and the information I'm getting to making a faster and faster car. Like, I think this is the biggest difference between me being pretty fast and competitive and top level competitive. Oh man, she is all dry. Well, almost. <laughs> Ugh, almost. 
So this is the first time I've owned an EK Civic, so I've got a lot to learn. But this weird uh, dash piece kind of comes out, but the way it attaches is these little metal brackets right here have two bolts. So when it slides back into this bezel area, it actually bolts from like down underneath in the lower panel. So I need to figure out how to make a plate that fills in this hole and makes it look better and also holds uh, my buttons. And I really need to wire up my windows so that they'll power up and down by themselves. So that's what I'll be working on today. Um, you know, in between welding projects for customers. So <laughs> it'll be kind of hit and miss, but I'm gonna do the best I can. So we're putting resonator on? Yeah, I have okay. Sounds a little different, like took some of the noise out of it. And we'll go in the back. Give me one. Yeah, it's deeper. Yeah, it sounds better for sure. Everybody, everybody should leave their resonators in. Leave. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. It's like deeper. It takes the wrap. Yeah. Kids, leave the resonators in. It sounds better. Way better. <laughs> Give it a good one. God damn, bro, that sounds better. <laughs> 
than it did shooting on me. But like, that's what you're talking about, you're gonna change that fucking... Dude, I seriously appreciate yeah. that, like, you don't understand, this shit is fucking... It's like, it's like a real Mustang. This is a real fucking Mustang. I'm from a little pony, grown up Mustang. Literally, this went from a pony to a Mustang, bro. Customers are finally gone. And check this out, we went from that template... Not a very good template, but... To now... Looks ugly because there's a piece of like paper covering on it, but basically it covers in the entire hole and I don't have to have any of the heavy stuff on the back. That's what I wanted, so now I can uh, just cut the hole and mount my uh, switches right in there. So, should be pretty good. Well, at least she's not out in the rain. It's dark, it's like about 8 o'clock now. I'm not going to get any farther on it today. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the video here for today, but um, as soon as I get in tomorrow, I'm gonna work on putting those buttons back into the little piece that we made for the dash and uh, just keep making as much progress as I can every minute I have between work. So even though I work with it here every day, it's still a struggle to kind of like get it done. So I gotta just keep trying really, really hard. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here and uh, I don't know, stay tuned, we'll do some more stuff next time. All right, see you guys like tomorrow or the next day.